I love the idea. I'm not keen on the name, I have to say, Burka Avenger, because Burka tends to have a negative connotation, such as not being empowered and, and being oppressed. But I really like the idea, for example, I love the fact that she's dressed modestly, unlike Western uh, superheroines who tend to be objectified, sexualized, and have enhanced cleavages, which can obviously send out very uh, uh, negative messages and have a negative impact on male attitude. Uh, but other than that, you know, I thought she was fantastic. Probably a little bit um, thing that I wasn't keen on was the fact that perhaps, uh, you know, her face was covered. So given the context, I would have liked to see her face um, uh, uncovered. Um, particularly because um, although there are many Muslim women who wear the face veil out of choice, there are many others that are forced to wear the face veil or manipulated into believing it's a choice. So I think given the context, it would have been nice to see her face. Uh, I, I do know that superheroes and heroines uh, tend to be masked, but there are many others that are not masked. So, but on the whole, I think it's a brilliant idea. Potentially it might develop in that direction, of course, the characters think, generally evolve, don't they? So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Who do you think will watch it? I think children, I think it's aimed at children, and I think that's brilliant because when uh, children are, are growing up, they're exposed to very negative images about women and girls, uh, particularly about what they can and cannot do, particularly what they cannot do. And they're given a perception that women are second-class citizens because of culture. And I think this can actually change mindsets and try and have that positive uh, influence to have attitudes when they're growing up, not just for girls, but also boys. Because if, girl, if the boys are seeing negative, uh, you know, negative uh, perception of women as they're growing up, that then when they're older, they have negative attitudes towards women. And also girls, they, when, they, when they sort of see around them that they can't do many things, they sort of grow up to thinking, well, this is our destiny. You know, we, we are destined not to have our rights. So I think it's going to create a, a debate I think it's fantastic. And actually, do you know what? This cartoon reminded me of a Catholic cartoon in Mexico called Cato, uh, Cato uh, Coladas. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but it's uh, done by Catholics uh, for choice. And in that, the main central character is actually a nun, and she challenges priests and challenges religious fundamentalism. And in the same way, this is what this cartoon does. And I think it will be uh, a really, really positive. Uh, and I think activists need to use all the tools uh, to try and uh, make that change. You say um, aimed at children, but given the descriptions that we've just been talking about, um, some children might not want to watch and some children might not be allowed to watch. Of course, you know, all children in Pakistan will not be able to see this cartoon, but the children that do see that cartoon, I think it's a start, it's a catalyst. It might then act as a catalyst for more um, innovative, innovative initiatives like this, other cartoons. So even if it's having a small impact, I think that's what matters really.